Hey there. I'm David Morales, and I am a world-renowned professional body-bashing extraordinaire in the underground circuit of the Catacombs of Paris. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it's like to be me. So I remember when I was in elementary school, I was a small kid. They used to make fun of me, call me names, short stuff, chicken little, string me. I remember this one kid, uh, Tommy, about three times my size. The kid was huge. Anyway, he starts picking on me in three sets. He starts pushing me and pushing me, asking me for lunch money. And finally, I just had enough. I said, knock it off! Punch! Knocked him out cold. Now, did any of that actually happen? Absolutely not. What actually got me interested in this business, um, I was walking with my parents one night from like the movies, head to our car, and this guy just comes up and just tries to take my mom's purse, this mugger. My dad stepped in between the mugger and my mom. I tried to stop him, and the dude beat the ever-living shit out of my dad, took the purse, got away with it, I knew right then and there, that's what I want. I want to do that. Some of the biggest obstacles that I face would have to be all the haters. Yeah, all them haters who hate on what I do for a living and the way I do what I do. They just hate my, my confidence, my natural ability, my God-given talent. But it's cyclical, you know, because like just as much as their hatred tries to stifle me and what I do, at the same time it, it burns and has that fire inside my soul and makes me Keep going, keep pushing, keep moving forward. You gotta keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it. He's uh, absolutely incredible. Um, in all my years of working, I've never seen anyone hit as hard as him, move as fast as him. I've never seen anyone quite so motivated. Um, to make another human suffer like that. I like to train by utilizing what I call my pain exercises. That way when I step into the ring, I won't feel pain. I get punched in the face all day, 10 hours straight, don't matter, I'm not going to feel it. So my big brother Jim will tie a big heavy chain around my waist and he'll attach it to his truck, then we'll go out to the park and do laps. And he'll just drag me around the park for about 10 hours straight. As far as obstacles go, I really actually have an obstacle course that was built in my backyard by a crew of young Asian men. I don't know where they came from. I didn't really hire them. They just kind of showed up. I told my manager, I'd really like to have an obstacle course. And then like, the next day, it was like a 10-day like a, like a process. It was really nice. Uh, no, I don't have any comments on the Asians at this time. Back when I was starting out, uh, when I was a wee lad, I, uh, I found myself in a tight spot. I had a real bad manager, just taking my money, wasn't getting me any good fights, and so I just wasn't going anywhere, and so my passion was starting to dwindle. So I turning to other things to make me happy and lift my spirits, like drugs and alcohol and dirty women. And, uh, you know, just a downward spiral, a slippery slope. One minute you're taking a couple shots, the next minute, uh, next thing you know, you're doing six lines of cocaine up a donkey's back. 
and some guy called Big Bob's house. Uh, yes, it's true. I was stealing quite a bit from him. Um, nearly a hundred percent. Um, but the beautiful thing is, is that he was so high all the time that when he was looking for a new manager, I just shaved off my moustache and he thought I was a completely different person. I still steal from him on occasion. Another pain exercise that I like to do is uh, I'll sneak into a gym at night, I'll empty out a big body bag and then I'll put myself in it and just let people pummel me all day. But they don't know. I know. And I learn how they punch. And I learn their weaknesses. Cut a little hole in the bag. Tiny hole. So I can see who's punching me. That way I know when I'm fighting them what to expect. Am I genius? Or am I just really smart? He's constantly adapting. He's always got a new move. He's always trying to find a way in. Um, that's what's so incredible about his style, is that it's really not a style at all. To all of those out there that want to pursue this line of work, I say, reach for the stars and grab a hold of them. You try your hardest and be the best. But I'm the best. So don't. Get my big brother Jim, ties a rope around my waist, I tie it to a truck, and he just drags me around the park for a while. <laughs> <laughs>